Hey guys, Kitty King TV here, and today I'm just going to show you a quick couple of tips um, to get your VR chat stream looking nice, and good, smooth, and optimal for most people to be able to watch. Um, sorry about my desktop background, it's pretty messy, but here we go. So very first thing I'm going to start you guys off with, um, we're not even going to do the OBS first, we're going to start with VR chat itself. Um, if you want to have like the max, you know, beautiful settings in VR chat when you're running and it looks all nice and whatnot, go ahead and hold shift, click play on VR chat and launch in desktop mode. And what should pop up is this little box here, loading, loading VR chat. Here we go. This should pop up VR chat configuration. And you just want to make sure that your, um, your graphics quality, uh, I think normally it's set to VR low or maybe desktop low. I'm not too sure, but I have mine set on VR high. It's just the max settings. Um, now, if you have it set on VR high and not VR low or desktop low, um, if you don't have, like, you may you may lose frames or whatnot if you don't. It's it's like any other game. You, you know, the graphics are going to be higher. It's going to take a lot more to run it. So just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, you can also change the resolution here. Um, if you're doing windowed, of course, you're not going to be able to get the max resolution or whatnot. I I don't play in windowed. I play in full screen, so I have the max resolution here. And there's that. So once you have that all set, um, you know, you can select which monitor it's on. You can close that out. And then we go over to OBS. So in OBS, you want to go ahead and go into your settings. So the thing is with OBS and um, making your stream look nice and pretty and whatnot, the bit rate that you're outputting your stream as is going to determine what quality um, that your stream, it's going to determine the quality of what your stream like outputs, whether it's going to be in like 720p, um, you know, 1080p, um, that's going to be determined mainly by the bitrate. And on Twitch, you only get guaranteed video quality settings, like an option to switch your quality settings if you're a partnered streamer. If you're an affiliate or not a partnered streamer, um, sometimes if they if they don't have enough resources you're not going to be able to you know viewers that are watching your stream may not be able to change their quality settings so you can go for the max bit rate and have a really nice beautiful looking stream of 1080p 60 fps and you know you put your bit rate at 6000 and um just follow the nvidia in link settings or the 264 settings for that quality of whichever you're using or if you want a majority of people and you're you're not partnered on Twitch, you want a majority of people to be able to watch without lagging and whatnot. Because I've had, while streaming VR chat, tons of people saying, Kitty, the screen's black, or Kitty, there's no audio. It's lagging super bad um, because I was running at the highest quality setting. Sure, it looked good and it worked for me and a few others, but not everyone was able to watch the stream. And that would in turn, you know, have a lot of people leave the stream. Um, I would suggest using the 720p um 60 fps options if you're not partnered um that way a majority of people will still always be able to watch and it'll still look pretty nice it's not going to look as good as the 1080p but you know what can you do right you, you still you still want more people to be able to watch than just a select view at high quality so i have my bit rate set at of course 4500 um and i'm running that under the 264 pretty much the same options for the um twitch stream encoding there so you have that there i'll leave the link to this page and whatnot in the description below um that's basically for the most part all the settings i got for you um it's gonna be different for you if you need to optimize it if your computer can't handle you know uh the highest quality settings or whatnot and you wanted to do that um you know you may not want to have your your VR chat on VR high and things like that. So this isn't necessarily for maximizing um, your frame rate if you don't have the best computer. It's just uh, the settings I use for, um, or settings that you can use to have like really high quality, nice looking stream. You see some of the VR chat streamers and some like in comparison, some of their streams look really, really beautiful and nice. And then others um, still look good, but not as high as quality. And that's just the change in the settings and how you do things here. So. I thought I'd give those a couple tips, and yeah, I hope this helps anybody out. Let me know if you guys have any question, any other questions, and um, yeah, bye-bye.